Well, unfortunately, my luck has run out. 34,067 miles, and I just did my range update video this morning, and it appears my main pack, or possibly my 12-volt battery, has kicked the bucket. But the way it sounded, and the way others have reported in the past, sounds more like my main pack has finally bit the dust. Uh, getting on the freeway, as others have reported similar things, and I'm on the on-ramp yet. Uh, hit the accelerator, and loud, nasty clunk, and that was it. Captain, she's dead in the water. So, waiting for Tesla Roadside Service to call me back. There's actually, well, I'm in tow mode now. There was four warnings. Now I'm down to two plus tow mode enable uh, because I don't want my 12 volt to die while tow, tow mode's not, well, the car's not free rolling or the tow truck will have to drag me onto the flatbed. So that's where I am right now. I'm not too happy. And out of probably the worst night, because this is fine, the hottest night we've had so far of the 2014 summer. Uh, it's about 90, oh, 92, 93 right now, but the humidity is absolutely horrible. Uh, I'm not even going to try opening my doors, because I'm trying to keep as much cold air in here as possible. And well, car needs service. Now, the car was reporting car needs service starting Saturday. Talked with service center, and they said uh, the car log, uh, car uh, Tesla wanted all my cooling pumps replaced, not because there was a fault, but because I previously had one uh, replaced, and um, it was a proactive measure. So I was going to bring it in next week for that. Night was going absolutely spectacular, and now 12 volt battery power load. This happens, and I'm, I'm supposed to be on my way to pick up. Oh, now we're rolling. I'm gonna keep my foot on the brake. Maybe I can roll down the. Uh... I better just stay where I am. Uh. Yeah, so I'm supposed to be picking up my three-year-old right now. That's not going to happen, so I guess he's staying by Auntie tonight. And I have a crap load of driving to do tomorrow. Not freaking happy. Just seemed really odd that all of a sudden 12-volt battery power low came on immediately when that happened. If, if it was low... It should have started happening earlier. <laughs> but uh, it's just how others have described it. Uh, just accelerating and all of a sudden, clunk. I gotta go, that's Tesla calling me back. The light at the end of the tunnel, the tow truck is here. I am now in a Uber limousine. Yeah, what was your name again? I'm sorry. Andrew. This is Andrew. Oh, my. Camera's not focusing tonight. I probably dropped it a few too many times. Uh, at least I didn't have to use it as a chalk for my car wheels. Uh, but uh, Andrew picked me up after the tow truck got my uh, Model S and is currently driving me to my parents' house so I can go pick up my Stinker, also known as a gasoline-powered vehicle. Uh, I'll find out in the morning what becomes of my car. It's a mystery. Bit of an update. Enterprise Rent-A-Car picked me up 
at uh, exactly 10 o'clock right on the dot and uh, took me to their rental store and uh, we got this Volkswagen Passat as a loaner. Uh, wasn't expecting to get a model this loaner given that uh, I'm a few hundred miles or about a hundred miles from Highland Park. Uh, poor truck. Uh, just really isn't up to the times. At least I'm getting better than uh, 10 miles per gallon. Although I keep forgetting to shut the damn thing off. Just not used to actually having to shut the damn thing off. But uh, that's it. Yep, so at least I got a loaner. Uh, goes between having no brakes to locking up the brakes and wanting to throw me through the windshield. But uh, I wear a seatbelt, so I'm good. Uh, my car is currently at Tesla, and uh, they will call me as soon as they know more details on what happened. Well, looky what we have here. My Model S is back. And let's go over what Tesla did. So, for starters, um, of course, as usual, they washed the car and they detailed it and dang, did they scrub this car. Wow, is it stunning. I almost thought they brought me the wrong one. Uh, next, uh, they did update me to another new firmware. We're at 5.12, and if I'm, I haven't played around with it yet, but uh, this has supposedly brought back uh, uh, volume or uh, number 11 and number 8 fan control, fan speed control. So uh, let's just go over everything they did. Let's see. I'll let you guys all see too. And they went, as usual, they went above and beyond anything I could have expected. Description of work. We'll start with number one. Customer states alert appeared. Car needs service. Pull over safely. Corrections. Motor. General diagnostics. Recommend replacement of high voltage battery. Uh, now they also had corrections, coolant pump, powertrain, replace powertrain coolant pump. Uh, you already know, I already knew in advance, um, that was actually not bad, but there was a bulletin out for anybody that had previously, at least that's what I was told, if there was anybody that had one previously that had failed and was replaced, they wanted all of them replaced, uh, to whatever the latest was. Uh, so they replaced, uh, the remaining coolant pump. The battery coolant pump as well. Uh, 
they added coolant of course and perform firmware update after battery replacement corrections battery assembly remove and replace replace high voltage battery battery s264 whatever you guys can read it to if you have uh, HD turned on for new YouTube here uh, tape vent cover side ski plug moldings Okay, so we got new new battery, and uh, on top of that, I got a B pack. Originally, I had the uh, 60 kilowatt A pack. Uh, modify rear arch liners. I believe um, what the, the the gentleman, the very nice gentleman that dropped the car off, said uh, that if the arch liners are what's in the trunk, um, and it was. Apparently one had popped out, so they uh, readjusted that. Once again, that's not something I asked about. Uh, valet service and rental. They they valeted the car back to me, and I got a uh, Enterprise. Unfortunately, Enterprise rental did not come with Stacy. Very nice lady. Uh, let's see. Validation test drive recommended. They did that, and uh, passed flying colors. Concern car wash. I wasn't too concerned about that. They did it anyways. Uh, so the correction was wash the car. Uh, courtesy inspection. Perform courtesy inspection. Uh, customer states side mirror mounting bracket has corrosion. Uh, no rust, just corrosion. Um, and apparently they had uh, a correction for it. Was the replace? I, I brought that up a while ago but there was a slight back order on the mirrors which it really wasn't that big of a deal it was just something i had even i didn't even ask to have the mirrors replaced it was just a question i had brought up and they went and did it anyways how often does that happen with an automotive company anybody even dealer anybody so uh we got the uh got two new side view mirrors and um they even uh came with the uh clear shield protection on it uh, even though actually it could have been my original one I'm not sure it might have just replaced the underlying part of the mirrors and not the uh, the whole thing I don't know either way uh, they look brand new and uh, okay uh, side mirror mounting oh that's the right left and the right um, in the end uh, no charge um, this is something neat to note So no charge. Drop the car off. Brought the car back. And uh, they said I'd be very happy. So uh, as usual, I am very happy. And I, I thank everybody at the uh, Highland Park Service Center for once again the best service that I have ever seen. Oh, they even shined my tires. Look at look at that gloss. Oh, they buffed it. I had some scratches there. Not only did they wash it, they buffed it. I am just blown away. Unfortunately, they did not fix my ding in my back bumper, which that was my fault. And uh, happened to my 2,000 miles after I got the car. But um, that's mine. I'll, I'll be repainting that when I get a chance. <laughs> but uh, wow, is this thing shiny. Yeah. Buffed it, everything. Wow. And of course they vacuumed it. Uh, valet service dropped it off right in front of my house. And I was all ready for them. Got stuck in a little traffic, but they're ripping up all of uh, 94 between Milwaukee and Chicago. Um, didn't get a full charge, no big deal. Plugged it in for the short term here. And uh, I'm going to put that battery pack to a test now, as as soon as I leave here, i got a 200-mile drive to do. Yay! It's putting it off until I get my car back. I can't stand paying gas. That Volkswagen was the biggest piece of crap I have ever driven in my life. The only thing it had going for it was it got, like, 43 miles per gallon. Otherwise, man, for a 2014, that Volkswagen's transmission was slipping like a son of a gun. So let's just dig a little peek under here. 
Here, look at that. And uh, the valet gentleman that dropped my car off said, this is a brand spanking new pack. Let's see, there's, oh, there's my uh, titanium shield. Still got to do a video on that one. Let's see, can we get a better view under here? No. And I'm surprised Old Dominion Freight Lines didn't drop it like they do seem to do everything else. They put the, uh, eh, look at that. Shiny. Wow. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, wow. No, that's, that's photogenic perfect. Look at that sky reflecting off the hood. Just amazing. Well, I guess um, while I was not happy my battery pack failed, uh, the outcome has been spectacular. And once again, Tesla has given me the best service I have ever had from an automotive company, and I even work in the automotive industry. You don't even get the you don't get the service anywhere else. Nowhere have I ever gotten service like this for a car. Uh, while it was rather inconvenient, Tesla did everything they could to reduce the inconvenience to me, uh, starting with calling a tow company, getting the tow truck there as quickly as possible. They even got me a Uber ride home given the time of night that it was at. Um, the rental companies obviously were not open yet. So they got an Uber driver there relatively quickly as well. Of course waited until uh, the tow truck arrived to call the Uber driver so that way uh, the Uber driver wouldn't just be sitting there waiting around. Uh, he took me to my parents house where I picked up Old Faithful there. Yep, uh, somehow, it's been a very long time since I ran that, well not very long, long time since I drove my truck, and uh, somehow that managed to start barely, the, that battery was almost dead, so I almost had to jump it, so I drove that home, uh, 10 freaking miles per gallon, and then uh, Wednesday morning, bright and early, Enterprise came, picked me up, took me to their rental shop, uh, signed the paperwork, and I was good to go. Uh, I probably would have had my car back tomorrow, but uh, they had to have a battery pack trans transported from uh, Chicago Service Center to Highland Park. And they used Old Dominion Freight Lines, and apparently they picked it up Wednesday, but they didn't drop it off at Highland Park until Friday. Quite a while, and I have always had problems. I used, I used to, all my motorcycles used to come through uh, and get delivered to me using um, Old Dominion Freight Lines. Horrible. I used to drop drop my motorcycle crates, uh, stick forklifts straight forks straight through the side of the crates. Uh, worst trucking company I've ever had to deal with, and that's my personal opinion. So, um, since I stopped using Old Dominion, guess what? My motorcycle stopped getting damaged in transit. Go figure. Uh, so, anyways, that's a completely separate rant. Uh, back to the car, because I know I'm rambling, and I'm not trying to, I'm just trying to convey, while it was an unfortunate circumstance, um, I have received the best service I have ever gotten in my life from an automotive company. Uh, like I said, they reduced the inconvenience to me as much as possible, and uh, I had to relearn how to pump gas. <laughs> Not experience I want to do very often or at all, uh, not at all, but uh, keep pumping gas to a minimum. Gosh. Cost me a proverbial fortune. Almost could have bought another Model S with how much money gas costs nowadays. But um, the only unfortunate thing is, since they had to replace my battery pack anyways, I really, really, really wanted to upgrade to an 85 kilowatt battery pack, and I was willing to pay the cost difference. But unfortunately, we could not get approval 
for the battery pack swap. That would have been, that would have made my day and everything would have been, man, I, A5 pack, I'd be in heaven. Uh, this car would be permanently my perfect car. Don't worry, it will happen. And when it happens, I'll make a video of it. Uh, I'm just going to do it myself. Swapping the pack shouldn't be very hard. Firmware update, now that's going to be a little more difficult, but uh, I'll figure that one out when I, when I get to it. So, if anybody out there has a crashed Model S that would like to sell at a relatively cheap price, let me know. Until then, I'll see you guys next video. And um, one more shout out to Highland Park Service Center uh, for just the most awesome service ever. And I can't forget Villa Park as well, uh, because up until before Highland Park opened, uh, my other option was Villa Park. Uh, which is not much further away than Highland Park. Unfortunately, with uh, Chicago traffic, um, that extra short drive turns into like an extra hour and a half drive, and that's just pushing it a little too far, and that was like an all-day project to get anything down there. Highland Park, straight shot for me. Uh, guess that's it. Have a great night, everybody.